what's shaking to all my mixers out there. Welcome to Mixing It Up with Sierra Loren, and today we're going to be celebrating Juneteenth, a very special holiday, with a very special cocktail called the Hibiscus Sour. Now before we get into how we make this lovely, delicious cocktail, first I'm going to go over a few facts about Juneteenth, because I think it's important that we actually understand why we are celebrating this instead of just going with the flow. Am I right? I thought so. So, even though the Emancipation Proclamation was passed in 1863, it wasn't until on June 19th, 1865, that the last stubborn Confederate state, Texas, had was forced, actually forced to announce the freedom of all slaves. Yeah, that's right. It took two whole years. In celebration of our newly found Freedom Day, we use the color red to signify the blood of our ancestors in the history of slavery. This is where the hibiscus of our cocktail comes into play with the history. Now, the hibiscus flower was made into a red tea. This traditional red tea originated in the West Indies. Back then, the West Indies, they used this tea in the color red to signify the strength and the spirituality of oneself. This traditional tea called Bissop was then spread throughout the Americas and the Caribbeans during the Atlantic slave trade. All right, now that our little history lesson is done, let's get on to the main event of learning how to make this delicious cocktail. Now, one thing I will say is that the most consuming part, time consuming part of this cocktail is how to make the honey hibiscus simple syrup. That is where all of our hibiscus is coming from. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this into the kitchen because I'm going to teach you guys how to actually make this syrup from scratch. So come follow me. All right, so now we're in our kitchen. What we're going to need is a saucepan to start off with. Let's go ahead and turn our oven on to high and add one cup of water. Some trees so I can roll me a split. 
Drop me a tap, get some backs of the stuff. I insist, I'll assist, let's get lit in this bitch cause It's my birthday, I'll get high if I want to I'ma get lit, I'ma get lit, I'ma get lit, I'ma get lit Since we already have this concoction cooled down in the other room Let's go ahead and take it on to the other room so we can make it the whole cocktail Since this portion is now complete Let's go back Time for the easy part, time to make this cocktail a reality. So, our base liquor is going to be a whiskey. Jack Daniels is my choice because, fun fact, Jack Daniels is a white man that even though he was the face of the company and he owned the distillery, he himself did not know how to make the whiskey. He was taught by a black man named Nearest Green, which I believe he was a slave when, back when he was what he officially taught Jack Daniels. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna go off on that. So that is why we are using Jack Daniels instead of any other type of whiskey for our Juneteenth cocktail. Recognition to where it is deserved. All right, so we are first going to put three ounces of Jack Daniels to our cup. We're gonna use 1.5 of our honey hibiscus simple syrup. Just to let you guys know, you can also use this syrup in any type of unalcoholic un beverage. Like if you just wanna mix this with some tea or some lemonade or any other type of juices, it will taste delicious, guaranteed. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna put one ounce of our fresh lemon juice into the mix. All right, now let's go ahead and mix it on up. Ooh, I can feel it. I feel this is gonna be a real good one. All right. Mmm. Beautiful. Just beautiful. A Juneteenth cocktail. Happy Juneteenth, folks. Mmm.